if you ever traded in one of these platforms, whether it's PancakeSwap, Uniswap, or most recently SundaySwap, you may have seen something called slippage tolerance. In this video, I'm going to show you the best slippage tolerance that you should be using if you're trading in one of these platforms. Not only that, I'm also going to explain to you what is a slippage, how does it work, but in order for you to really understand how it's work, you need to understand what is an order book. An order book is a list of buyers and sellers these buyers and sellers come to meet at a specific price so they come to meet or to settle the price at a specific price point so everybody here on the list is rushing to get to this price where they can actually get their orders executed in order for you to experience slippage in an order book like this you have to be trading with a market order because remember you can only experience slippage when you're actually trading on a market order not limit orders if you're trading with a limit order you become a market maker yourself meaning your order comes to sit within this price here so basically what happens is that a slippage will occur when you're trying to get into a specific price over here and the price actually drops to the next available price so the system will actually move your trade and actually give you the best possible price it's also worth noting that slippage can be either a positive slippage or a negative slippage but basically slippage is when you're trying to get to a specific price but the market actually falls to the next price so you get the next best order like i said it can work in your favor or against you meaning you can actually end up making more money or losing a little bit from your trade so basically slippage occurs when you're actually trying to execute your trade at a specific price but the market actually forces you to slip over to the next possible best price if i was on tiktok this is how i'll explain it <laughs> now let's place a real trade on a centralized exchange that uses a very same order book just like this one over here i'm on b true i'm trying to buy solana using usdt so you can see i've got 500 dollars in my account basically i want to exchange these 500 dollars for Solana. Like I said, you can only experience slippage when you actually move from a limit order to a market order. After I've done that, I'm gonna slide the slider over, then obviously I'm trading with my entire $500. After that, I'm gonna press buy, which means that my order is gonna be executed. Once the order is executed, you can see now we have Solana in our balance. However, you can still see that we have a little bit of funds left in our us dollar account which means that when we actually place the trade there wasn't enough liquidity at that specific price point for our order to be filled with the entire 500 dollars in this case i have to manually you know place the order again some exchanges will actually give you the next possible best price if i place the order again the slippage here will be the price difference from initially when i placed my first order to the next possible price that i got like i said earlier this can be either a positive slippage or a negative slippage which means i can end up making a little bit more money or actually losing a little bit money from my actual trade that i wanted to execute now that we know how a slippage works on a centralized exchange like BitTrue over here let's move to a world of decentralized finance to actually place trades and actually see what's the best slippage tolerance that we can be obviously using before we do that it's also worth mentioning that decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap, Uniswap or SundaySwap works on something called an automated market maker which doesn't necessarily relies on an order book like this one but let's jump into the computer and see how it works all right now we're on a computer and we're going to be using SundaySwap since a lot of people seem to have a misunderstanding of how to use this platform let me connect my wallet and I'm going to come here to the swap feature. From here, I want to swap one ADA. I'm going to swap it for Sunday swap. Now you can see one ADA gives me 1.5 Sunday swap. You can see my slippage tolerance over here. I can come here and obviously set this at 1%. I think at launch, this was set at 0.1. That's why people are having so much difficulties with regards to getting their orders executed because they didn't really touch the slippage tolerance. If we come to PancakeSwap over here, obviously PancakeSwap is able to execute the trades very quickly because of the blockchain. Now, if you come to the settings, you can see it's 0.1. So Sunday swap was like this at launch. In fact, I do have a screen recording from the launch date. This is how it actually looked like. However, now let's look at the slippage today. So in order for you to really, if you really, really want to get your order or your 
trade executed you need to bump up the slippage tolerance so meaning you can put this at maybe 10 percent depending on obviously the amount of slippage that you're willing to tolerate this means that if this asset moves 10 percent higher or 10 percent lower or within the 10 percent range your order will still be able to be executed so let me just cancel this i'm going to show you orders that i have on the queue i think this is a new feature this is really really cool i think sunday swap has a chance of really being a great exchange it's just a matter of if you know cardano can be able to execute the trades very quickly but if we come to orders here at launch day this is what i did i came here if i can just expand this you can see this was on the 21st of january in 2021 and you can see this is now the date is the 30th the 31st rather this is 10 days later the order is still not executed i can obviously come here and cancel the orders but what i want to show you here is when i actually obviously this was just a test i moved one ada for sunday swap and at the time sunday swap was trading at 0.47 ada and the current price is 0.6 and you can see that's more than you know one percent that's more than 0.1 percent slippage tolerance so basically this means that my orders won't get executed until the price moves back to 0.47 or within maybe those price range so that's how slippage works and basically the best slippage tolerance is to ask yourself how much money are you willing to lose within that trade if you're willing to lose 10 percent, that's what you can put if you're willing to lose 25 percent, that's what you can put and remember i'm just saying losing 25 percent, it could be a matter of that the market is actually moving in your favor so you can actually end up making more money by setting your slippage tolerance so high but obviously when the market is actually volatile you can obviously lose a lot of money so that's how slippage works i'll see you in the next video goodbye